by popular request, I'm going to teach everybody how to ferment chicken feed and why it's a really great thing to do for your birds. First of all, you can ferment any chicken feed you're using, even if you're feeding pellets. Just make sure that you are covering it generously with water because it's going to expand by about double. Then I'm going to cover it with a lid and I'm using a fermentation lid here, but you could use a cheesecloth and a rubber band or a paper towel and a rubber band. That works really well. You just want to keep the critters out. I'm also sprouting some cowpeas and other beans in the background of this video. So why do we ferment our chicken feed? Why is it a good thing? First of all, it breaks down the protein in the feed and makes it more digestible. So your feed actually goes further. So you save money on feed. You can feed less, they're gonna eat less and they're still gonna get the same nutrition. It also makes the nutrients in the feed more digestible. So that is also a really good thing. And third, but definitely not least, is it provides beneficial bacteria probiotics for the birds. And that is a really good thing to add. Even if you decide, not to ferment your feed, I recommend giving your birds probiotics at least once a month. So this is what it looks like after day two. You can see the little bubbles from the fermentation process. So with the beans, if you're curious about these, I soak them overnight the first night and then drain them. And then each day I will rinse and drain them again until they're nice and sprouted. I ferment chicken feed for about three days and you can see by day three it is nice and active and it is ready to go. As far as beans and other seeds go, I usually let them go for about a week just rinsing and draining every day. By day seven, they'll have filled up the jars really nicely and the birds will love them. You'll be able to smell that the fermented feed is ready. Let's take it outside. Okay, time to feed it to them. And you'll notice that I'm not feeding directly on the ground. I feed on something that they have not pooped on because I don't want to spread poultry worms. That is the best way to have problems in your flock with the worms. Batman is the first to join us along with everybody else. And you can see the piglets join us here in a minute. You can feed it to your pigs. It's really good for everybody. I try to do this at least once a month, but you could do it every single day. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.